All right, what's going on YouTube world? How's it going? My name's Jim. I'm a crypto trader and a Forex trader. I'm here to help you understand the market from an Elliott Wave perspective. That's what we do here on the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you're here. Um, let's jump into the charts, guys. Uh, most of you are familiar with me. I won't give a long intro, Just, uh, uh, but if you're brand new to the channel, you might check out uh, some of my previous videos for explanations on uh, Elliott Wave and uh, what Elliott Wave uh, and wave structure is. Most people don't spend a lot of time analyzing wave structure when they're analyzing the market. So that's my addition. That's my country contribution to YouTube here, guys. Got lots of guys that do support and resistance, and I'll and I entertain those things, um, moving averages and whatnot. But uh, I'm going to focus in on my TA on wave structure and give you that piece of the puzzle. So I hope you enjoy the channel. Let's jump into the uh, Bitcoin chart and see what's going on, guys. We are at a level right now that is uh, critical for uh, critical for holding. Okay, we're sitting at 43k right now, roughly. Um, are we teetering on whether we're going to go down? We're going to find a bounce here. It, it's really really hard to uh, really uh, pick up on uh, what this market's going to do here. Um, it, it really needs to hold this level in this range. Anyway, guys, it, it, if it's going to go up, okay, if, if I'm going to feel good about another bounce to the upside for another five wave impulse uh, to the upside, I'm going to feel, um, I'm going to I need it to hold this level. If it starts going down and wicking down here to the uh, 30k range, which is another possibility, guys. When we pull the fib uh, fib extension tool, we got a three wave move here that's sitting around the one to one extension right there. Okay, now that's a normal three wave measurement. Okay, uh, an another normal area is the one one to one and the one two uh, the one two seven and the one four one four. I should say. Oh, come on, I'm trying to draw it there we go right in that range right there uh, and so it could come down here it just I wouldn't like it as much uh, it'd be a little bit more of a bear signal um, as deep of a move as that would be and if it wicks all the way down here wicks all the way down to 30k um, if this thing rolls over and does that then that's going to be a little bit more devastating to the Bitcoin chart because if it goes there I'm more inclined to think that this was a market top that this was the end of the bull run um, we have a three-wave move uh, that begins the larger correction. We would expect a three-wave move uh, to the upside and then continuation after that. Um, and it's during this time, this three-wave move, that the alts may have a have a nice uh, a nice move. That's exactly what happened on the uh, the. Uh, chart in 2017 uh, let's just take a peek at the 2017 chart here on the uh, daily how about the daily there we go boom we'll move right over here to 2017 and here's what happened uh, we had a parabolic run up we found a three wave move uh, to the downside right here you'll notice we had a, a pretty big move we retested the top and then down we came in three waves okay the, after that three wave move uh, that this was the market top okay after that three wave move we had a three wave correction right there it was during that time that if you look at the ethereum chart let's take a peek at the ethereum chart sorry about that i should have had it ready i don't have it ready there we go and i'm on the wrong chart let's uh uh Forgive me, guys. All right, there we go. There it is right there. You'll notice that this... This right here was actually Bitcoin's market top. This is the, that's the point, that's December, uh, December 17th, uh, excuse me, December 21st, 2017, right in that range, okay? Uh, so there's the market top. This was the first dip of Bitcoin. When di when Bitcoin made its three-wave move back to the upside, that's when Ethereum decides to have a blow-off top there. So I'm wondering if that's going to replay here, if this is a market top at all. Okay, this is a pretty deep move here, guys. Uh, let's let's look at uh, how how far we came down. Let's pull the fibs on this three wave move right here, and you'll notice we came down to we wicked down to the one six one eight. It was a pretty hefty move down to the one six one eight. All right. Um, and then we had a nice a nice rebound, a three wave rebound back up. Um, how much of a percentage did it go back up here? Uh, let's let's do a retrace here. That's not the tool I want. That's the tool I want. There it is. It came back up to the golden zone about uh, 60, 60, 61, 65%, 70% back, and then and then on down we go. So if we're looking at uh, the current Bitcoin chart now, basically moving on over, guys, we've had a really hefty move 
off the top. I mean, it's a it's a pretty large structure. It's kind of a macro structure type wave, um, and it's possible that it is still finishing a correction here, and it could come down to the 618. If it gets that deep, that's going to be scary for everybody, uh, but uh, what's going to most likely happen if we get a repeat is we're going to get a buy back up here in three waves, and that's going to allow Ethereum, um, Ethereum on the daily chart boom, boom, boom come on there we go that's going to allow ethereum to, to go on up and make another high like that so on the ethereum chart we look at the four hour chart you'll notice that we have a nice three oh, come on we have a nice three wave pattern here uh we pa look here we got three wave correction we are sitting at the 127. We have room to go down to the 1618. We can still go down a little deeper, um, and it wouldn't be horrible for Ethereum to do that. Uh, however, uh, we do have on the four-hour chart here, let me just highlight some things here. We have the RSI. I pay attention to RSI structure as well, guys. And we'll notice that the RSI structure has broken here. Um, that basically this this uh, wedge formation that that was being created has now broken to the upside. Now it it, it has retested as well. So we ha we could make a case that we could be getting a bounce right here, but this could also just uh, fall over and bounce on down and make a lower low. Uh, before going up but we have broken the structure that's a sign of the end it doesn't mean it's the exact end a lot of times we get a retest and on the retest that's the end of the wave and then we go and on that retest basically it's a lower low it creates divergence is what it does uh, and then uh, and then on we go so anyway these are the things that I'm watching for right now guys we are close to a, a finished uh, correction I believe I believe Bitcoin is, is close to being finished uh, but I, I don't know how deep she's going to come Okay, I don't know how deep uh, Bitcoin is is going uh, to come here. So uh, we'll we'll watch and see with with great care tonight. Uh, we want to see where. Um, hope, hopefully, my cord is still working here. Let me just make sure my sound is still on here. Sorry about that. My foot hit my cord. Yep, we're still recording. We're good to go. Um, yeah, uh, what was I saying? Okay, so yeah, this is a three-wave move off the top. Guys, we, we still have the idea that we could be having a move, a, move, a parabolic move to the upside to finish. Okay, so that's still in the cards, uh, 75 to 80K. But um, you have to know that, uh, that another possibility is uh, this comes on down a little bit deeper. We get a three-wave move, and then we're done. Guys, the, 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 the bull run is finished. That This is profit-taking area. It's something to at least consider. I want you to at least be aware of it. Don't be so bullish, guys. Don't be so bullish-minded that you miss the top like uh, most people did in 2020. Uh, excuse me, 2017. Okay, don't miss the 2021 top. All right, we're coming. We're coming to the end of it, or we're coming soon. Um, so let's watch out. Let's be very, very careful. Let's be uh, shrewd and and uh, watching uh, carefully. So uh, hold on one second, guys. Um, so uh, yeah, so that's what I'm watching. Let's watch. Uh, let's watch this current level. We're going to be watching 41k. We're going to be watching 37k in that ballpark. 33k. I'm just reading reading the fibs here. And uh, 30k. We're going to be watching all those um, uh, uh, Fibonacci levels. And then after that, um, we're going to be hoping for a bounce here, guys. Hoping for a, a big enough bounce. Uh, welcome to my home, guys. My wife's putting the dog out right in the middle of my YouTube video. Um, <laughs> But that's okay. Um, thanks, honey. <laughs> she's uh, <laughs> she's like, she comes home, does the dishes, puts the dog out. Ah, <laughs> I'm not re-recording this. You're gonna have to deal. Um, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to it. Uh, what was I saying? Okay, final thoughts. <laughs> watching these, this level right in here, watching any of these fibs, want to see where we find support and find a bounce. I'm going to be looking to uh, go long in this range here for at least three waves, hoping that we get a nice bull, a bull move that just goes parabolic. That would always, always be exciting to have if that happened, but uh, don't know if that's going to happen or not. We'll wait and see if the market gives it to us. Um, and then if we get another move up, that means... Uh, uh, that means Ethereum is going to also be heading up as well. We're fine. We're very, like I said, we're very close to a bottom of this correction, I believe. Uh, we're watching these lower fibs. Guys, I'm watching uh, on Ethereum as low as 28. 
$100 uh, at, this, at the 618, as low as $2,800 in that range here. We could find some support right here at the top of that wave. Shoot, uh, oh, man, I, would, I don't think it would come this low at all, but uh, here's the next support region. We don't have a lot of support where we are. We're finding support in this little zone. There's not a whole lot of support here, guys. Not a whole lot of price history for price to be supporting here. So uh, this may wick on down to 27 or 28 hundred dollars and then up we go uh maybe so or at least back up for a three-wave retest before we head down deeper so the question is guys are we at a market top or not uh, i don't know i don't know but uh guys you need to have it in your mind that it's possible so be very very careful be shrewd and uh be be ready to take profits don't miss the market top uh because uh we could be going all the way back down to 20k uh if 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 we are at a top we're definitely going to go down to 28k uh and most likely going to retest 20k uh and maybe even deeper than that that's scary to think i know and most of you I'm, i know i'm probably going to get some negative comments on my channel like that ah, we're never going to see 20k again yeah yeah just like we were never going to see 3K again after after six held. Yeah. No, uh, this market likes to make moves that you don't expect, that you don't think can happen to take your money. Um, right now, the bulls have been in, in paradise for a long time, for quite a while. And it's time to take time for the market makers probably to take their money back, most likely. So it's coming. It's coming. Be careful. Be wise. Be smart. Watch out for these waves. In the intermediate term, I don't know if we're going to have any more upside before down or if this just rolls over and goes down here. That's the hard part. I can't tell you on the small time frame waves how it's going to shape up. I personally watch the RSI and the RSI structure for hints and clues to where the, where we are. So uh, that's what I'm watching. Well, you guys have a great day. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Hope those thoughts at least get you thinking. And I just wanted to give you a wave update for today. You guys have a fantastic, uh, fantastic day. We'll talk to you later. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and all that jazz and uh, share the love in the comments if you would. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>